Do you want to learn how to make yourself immune to emotional pain? Do you want to become unbreakable? For some people, this might sound impossible, but trust me, it's not. Everyone has been emotionally hurt at some point in their lives. It feels unbearable, and sometimes it seems like we'll never recover. But what if I told you that you could make yourself immune to emotional pain? That there is a way to become unbreakable? If you don't believe me, give this video your full attention and find out for yourself. If you really learn and apply the 8 steps that we are going to teach you, you will never have to feel the pain of emotional hurt again. If you are new here, subscribe for more social psychology videos and leave a comment below saying I subscribed. I will try my best to reply to as many comments as possible. Let's start. The Psychology of Emotional Pain Before getting into how to make yourself immune to emotional pain, you need to understand what emotional pain actually is and how it works from a scientific standpoint. Emotional pain is pain or hurt that originates from non-physical sources. Sometimes this emotional distress is a result of the actions of others. Other times it might be the result of regret, grief, or loss. But regardless of the source, emotional pain is very real and can have a profound impact on our lives. Emotional pain can be divided into two main types, acute and chronic. Acute emotional pain is usually short-lived and fades relatively quickly. This type of pain is often caused by things like breakups, betrayals, or rejection. Chronic emotional pain is much more persistent and can last for months or even years. This type of pain is often caused by things like chronic stress, unresolved trauma, or major life changes. And the recommended way to deal with chronic emotional pain is different from acute emotional pain since it requires more long-term solutions from experts. But in this video, we will focus more on how to make yourself immune to acute emotional pain, even though most of the information can be applied to chronic emotional pain as well. With that being said, let's get into it. Step 1. Become aware of your emotions The first step to becoming immune to emotional pain is to become aware of your emotions. You need to be able to recognize when you are feeling emotional pain so that you can take the necessary steps to deal with it. This might seem like a no-brainer, but a lot of people try to ignore their emotions or push them away because they are too painful to deal with. Pretending that your emotions don't exist won't make them go away. In fact, it will only make them worse in the long run. So the first step is to become aware of your emotions and to allow yourself to feel them fully without judgment. When you do this, you will be in a better position to deal with them effectively. Step 2. Stop telling the story. Whether it's the loss of a loved one, the pain of rejection, or the anguish of betrayal, we all have stories that we tell ourselves in our heads that contribute to our emotional pain. These stories are usually based on our past experiences or the beliefs that we have about ourselves. For example, someone who is betrayed by their partner might tell themselves the story that they are not worthy of love or that they will never be able to trust anyone again. These stories might provide some temporary relief from the pain, but they will only make the pain worse in the long run. That's because these stories are usually based on our fears and they prevent us from moving on. So the second step is to stop telling yourself these stories. Instead, focus on the present moment and on what you can do to make the situation better. Step 3. Reframe your emotional pain The third step is to reframe your emotional pain. This means changing the way you think about your pain so that it doesn't have such a negative impact on your life. For example, instead of thinking about your pain as a bad thing, try to see it as a sign that you are alive and that you are capable of feeling emotions. Or instead of thinking of your pain as something that is holding you back, try to see it as a sign of strength. Keep in mind that you are not fooling yourself by reframing your pain. You are simply changing the way you think about it so that it doesn't have such a negative impact on your life. By reframing your emotional pain, you will be in a better position to deal with it effectively. Step 4. Create a physical distance from toxic people One of the main reasons people experience emotional pain is because they are surrounded by toxic people. These are people who drain your energy, make you feel bad about yourself, or take advantage of you. Or even worse, people who always remind you of your pain. 
If you want to make yourself immune to emotional pain, then you need to create a physical distance from these toxic people. This means either cutting them out of your life completely or limiting your interactions with them. Of course, this is not easy if the people are close to you, but it is necessary if you want to protect yourself from emotional pain. Step 5. Prioritize yourself first. Does this mean that you should become a selfish person who only cares about yourself? No, it doesn't. It simply means that you should start putting your own needs first. For example, instead of always putting the needs of others first, make sure to do something for yourself every day. This could be something as simple as taking a relaxing bath, going for a walk in nature, or reading your favorite book. The important thing is that you do something that makes you happy and that helps you to relax. By putting your own needs first, you will be in a better position to deal with the emotional pain in your life. Step 6. Use the pain as motivation. For some people, this might sound counterintuitive, but one of the best ways to make yourself immune to emotional pain is to use the pain as motivation. This means that instead of letting the pain hold you back, you use it as a force that propels you forward. For example, if you have been hurt by someone in your past, you can use that pain to motivate you to create a better future for yourself and to prove to yourself that you are worthy of love and happiness. Or if you have experienced failure, you can use that pain to motivate you to achieve your goals. By using pain as motivation, you will be in a better position to achieve your dreams and create the life that you want. Step 7. Be gentle with yourself. It doesn't matter how strong you become as a person, there will always be times when you feel emotional pain. And that's okay. When you follow all these steps and advice, you will find that your emotional pain will become less and less. But it is important to be gentle with yourself when you do feel pain. This means not beating yourself up for feeling emotions or for not being perfect. Instead, accept your emotions and allow yourself to feel them. And then let them go. By being gentle with yourself, you are creating self-compassion. And self-compassion is one of the most important things you can do for yourself when it comes to emotional pain. Step 8. Remember that you always have a choice. According to recent studies, it has been shown that people who believe they have a choice in life are more resilient to pain. This means that when you feel like a victim of your circumstances, you are more likely to feel pain. But when you remember that you always have a choice, you will be in a better position to deal with the pain. For example, if you have been hurt by someone, you can choose to forgive them. Or if you are experiencing pain because of a difficult situation, you can choose to see it as a challenge instead of a problem. Remember, you always have a choice, and that choice is up to you. You can either let the pain control you, or you can choose to control the pain. The choice is yours. Final thoughts. Please note that even though the steps and information mentioned in this video are backed by science, they are not a replacement for professional help. If you are currently dealing with long-term chronic emotional pain, it is important to seek professional help, especially if the pain is too much to handle on your own. So to answer the big question of this video, is it possible to make yourself immune to emotional pain? Yes, it is absolutely possible, but it will take time, effort, and consistency on your part. After all, emotional pain is a part of life, and it is only by learning how to deal with it in a healthy way that we could become emotionally stronger and more resilient. But if you follow the steps given in this video, you will be on your way to becoming emotionally unbreakable. Now. You need to watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. It will show you how to build a great character and make people value you more. Make sure to watch it now. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.